How's it going everyone? Mark here, uh, and I thought it was uh, about time that I did an update on all my tanks. So I'm going to start off with my African Cichlid tank. As most of you know, um, most of the Mabuna in here are wild caught. And I've added extra rocks. And you can see there's some nice algae growing on top. It's a bit brown at the moment, but it should turn green. I'm leaving the lights on for around about 12, 14 hours a day, uh, trying to encourage the algae to grow a bit quicker. Uh, I've had some breeding action. Uh, my Metroclima Patricky Jalo Reef have bred, so I've got one holding female. And she is there, she's holding. She's just gone behind the rock. They are doing really, really well. Loving the background still that I got from Aqua Slash Maniac. Some of the rocks uh, are from my previous Aquascape, so they are a bit light at the moment. But hopefully, once like like I mentioned before, once the algae starts growing on top of them. Um, they'll get a bit darker. Hopefully I want them to go green so the, the Mabuna will graze more on the algae so I can cut back on feeding them just once uh, a day. You'll see hopefully uh, in, in this video some of them will try and graze on the brown stuff. I do apologise about the finches in the background. There's another four chicks in the nest so they're a bit noisy sorry okay uh, so I'm gonna leave that one just here and then the next one will be my tropical tank okay so this is my tropical tank I've had it just over probably a month and a half almost two months now and I've Today I've just done um, a massive new aquascape. Basically I, I had a really big problem with rams, horn, uh, snails, so I had to strip the whole tank back and uh, try and get as much of the snails out as, as I can and that gave me the opportunity to cut back loads of the plants and replant everything. I've moved the wood round, done the rocks again uh, and I also found tons and tons of baby platies. Um, I am still going to move them on. I know someone who's got some wild blue rams, so I'm going to get a pair hopefully. And they should fit in quite nicely to this tank. So I'll give you some close ups. So the plants are doing really well, uh, nice and healthy. Loads of algae growing on the wood in the background. I don't know what it is, but when I um, basically mess about with replanting all the plants and uh, moving the wood round and stuff, um, I get a buzz out of it. You know, you it's it. You try and make it look as natural as possible to the best of your you know your ability and stuff like that. And I think it's pretty cool that we can actually do this in this hobby. So leave us a comment, you know, let us know what you, you think about it. You know, when you're doing aquascaping, how long does it take you to do it? Do you do it often or, you know, you just leave it if the fish are happy or you're one of those people that like to do as much aquascaping as, as possible. So still love on the tropical tank. Um, like I said before, I'm going to get some blue rams, swap out the, uh, the platys because there's just so many of them and um, can't really see them in this video but they're all hiding and I noticed new fry uh, hiding in amongst all you know the root and everything from the wood and behind all the plants at the back and um, there's a good 20 30 of them in there so I, I do need to to move them on okay so I'm gonna leave it there and the next one will be my bristle nose plec 
fry tank. Okay, so this is my bristle nose plec fry tank. I did a video of it last week telling you about the eggs that I found once I made a little sort of uh, cave structure for the male and female to breed. Um, well, before when I was doing the aquascape on the tropical tank, I looked down and I could see loads of the fry all free swimming, uh, so they weren't actually in the cave anymore. I don't know if it was because the male wasn't doing its job or something like that. So I decided to take the top off very uh, slowly and gently, obviously not to disturb uh, the male looking after the fry. And there was one fry left. So I took out some of the rocks that were holding this top piece here. Um, so I could actually see or try and count how many fries are around in the tank. And there's quite a lot. I reckon about 30 probably, 35 little fry or something about. Um, so what I've done, I've just put some cucumber in the in the tank just in case, you know, they are hungry because, you know, the fry still have got a bit of an egg sack on them. So I'm guessing, you know, they'll be probably hungry in a, in a few days. Uh, and down that end is a vegetable wafer that they, uh, the adults seem to love. Um, chew on, and if you can just see down the back, they're all congregating in the corner in the flow of the tank. Sorry about all the bits and that floating around the tank. That's because I had to um, plant all the cuttings from my top of tropical tank in here, and it kicked up all the substrate. Um, and I've left it a good few hours trying to get it all clear, but um, the the internal filter isn't really picking up all the particles so I'm going to add some filter um, padding inside and you know from a new pillow and see if that will help it out so you can see loads there still with the big egg belly and then if you come around here if they're still down there there you go loads of them down there so I'm not 100% sure why um, they're not in the actual cave system anymore. Obviously, I, I took it all apart because I, I thought the male had booted them out or something like that, or one went out and they all followed, or I'm not sure. Um, but they seem to be okay. They're all grouping together in the flow of the tank and doing great. So I hope you liked the update on all my tanks. Uh, and also, I want to say uh, hello to all new my new subscribers, I've just reached over 700 subscribers uh, and I can't thank you enough. I never thought I would get so many. Um, and I do apologise about not being able to answer all your questions that you guys will be sending me, but don't worry, I'm getting around to that. I will be doing a question uh, and answer video. I don't know if it will be up tonight, if not, it'll be up tomorrow. Uh, so bear with me, you know, I am quite busy as well. I've, I have family commitments and work commitments and other stuff that I'm dealing with at the moment um, so you know I haven't forgot about your questions guys and I'll get around to it as soon as I can so thanks for watching and if you look on the right hand side of uh, the screen now um, you can click on there to go to my channel so you can see all the playlists and stuff and then the box below it will be a quick link to subscribe to my channel I would appreciate if uh, you would subscribe for new videos Thanks guys for watching and I'll uh, speak to you soon.